Hello, CCH family. Welcome to another Heart to Home devotional. Uh, today I'm going to talk about greetings. Um, in many of the New Testament books, especially those that are written by the Apostle Paul, um, you'll find two common ingredients to the author's greetings. Unfortunately, what can happen when something becomes common to us in the Bible is we can miss a deeper meaning as to why it's repeated as much as it is. Grace and peace are those two common words. And at face value, uh, those are nice things to wish someone, but they can also serve as reminders of our condition, of our reality. People that are good are not in need of grace and peace. People that have it all together are not in need of grace and peace. People that don't face trials and tribulations are not in need of grace and peace. People that can meet God's standard of perfection are not in need of grace and peace. And people that can earn their own salvation are not in need of grace and peace. Those of us who have accepted the free gift of salvation based on um, what Christ has done for us on the cross have become made aware by the Holy Spirit um, of our desperate need for grace and peace. So while being reminded of our need, it's equally important to remind ourselves of the source of these things as well. So starting with grace, uh, Romans chapter 3 verses 23 and 24 read, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's our condition. That's our reality. Verse 24 says, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 4, 7 reads, but to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Hebrews 4, 16 says, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. On to peace. Psalm 4.8 says, I will both lie down in peace and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. The New American Standard Bible version of 2 Thessalonians 3.16 says, Now may the Lord of peace himself continually grant you peace in every circumstance. The Lord be with you all. Romans 5.1 reads, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, Psalm 29.11 says, The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. So we see the source is none other than God through our Lord Jesus Christ, as was stated in Romans 5.1. And outside of a relationship with the Lord, we cannot experience true grace and peace. And if you've tried to find these things apart from Christ, you know this is true. So the next time you're reading through one of the common New Testament greetings, I encourage you to take the time and remember why it's there and where we must go to find it. I thank you for your time and I'll see you down the road.